A larger than life street mural with a message is taking over a street in one neighborhood on Chicago's south side. CBS 2 Stephen Graves tells us why it is so much more than just a regardless of what they say, what you heard, or what you thought you knew. This is my Inglewood. The words are big, bold, and a brand to Fatal Perkins. This is my Inglewood just kind of shifted the way that people view Inglewood. A source of appreciation for the neighborhood he grew up in. Once upon a time, I was considered to be a part of the problem. Now calling his lead role in spearheading this new block long mural at 63rd and Justine as part of the ongoing solution. Bring our community together. His group, Think Outside the Block, partnered with Chicago artist Maxwell MKs and organization Teamwork Inglewood. The Paint and Peace event last week, as it's called, is not the first, but this specific vision was inspired by Black Lives Matter murals in Chicago and Washington, D.C. The Inglewood adapted took about three years of planning. So we wanted to kind of come and take the street back and let businesses in the area know that we are here, we are present, where a lot of our businesses experience violence. As you can see, last week's weather has already caused some wear and tear to the mural, but expect to see it come back even more vibrant. New paint, lessons learned, a testament to the mantra of this neighborhood. When people see that we restored it, it will speak toward the resilience of our community. A place where people can take pride in living. Not always. Native Demetrius Files had to grow that love, hoping acts like this make young people inherit it. And we are a community that is up and coming and thriving, and the kids that live in the community should be proud to be where they're from. In Inglewood, Stephen Graves, CBS2 News. And organizers say funding for the mural came from the Department of Justice as part of an anti-violence initiative.